Hello everyone, my name is Optech of Trollbe in Europe and in this guide I'm going to go through all of my UI including many of the mods that I use. I'm going to focus mainly on power roarers but I'm going to cover everything that's in my UI. I'm going to talk you through my general UI. Um, you can see down the bottom here I've got this greyed out area where I've kind of embedded all my other mods. Um, main ones I use are Bartender, this is what lets you move all your bars down here. Um, it really customizable Adam this one. Um, all I've done is essentially made my mod, made my uh, main bar bigger, and put my main spells on the keys one to five. Um, down here I've got uh, Pratt chat uh, chat mod. I just like this for um, being able to copy and paste chat. Um, it's got various other nice features. I've also got recount down here, which is a mod for assessing how much damage you're doing. And I've got Omen threat meter down here as well as grid and I've got it set up so when you're in a 25 man road this will fill up in this area down here. Now by far the most commonly asked about add-on on my videos is Power Auras. If you download this it's called Power Auras Classic. Um, you type slash POWA to activate it. You can see I've got about 16 different auras. Um, you might not need as many as this. I just I've done them for all sorts of little experiments. These are the main ones I use. Um, this one activates when I have a glyph of life tap. Um, just puts a sort of half circle underneath me, and then I've got various other um, auras which kind of clip into that and disappear. Um, this is my new one for molten core I've made, uh, which displays stacks like this. I'll show you how to set this up in a minute. Now, how you use this is generally you enter the name of a spell you want to activate an aura. So, here I've got my my setup for life tap. It's fairly simple. All I've got is uh, down here activated by, and then you select buff from the list, and then in this box here, type in the name of the buff you want to activate. That in this case, it's life tap. You'll notice that I put a timer for life tap. Now, uh, the glyph of life tap uh, buff lasts for around 40 seconds and counts down. It's useful to be able to see how many seconds you've got left because you want to keep this buff up at all time if you're using that glyph. Um, all you do here is you just check show on the timer and then tweak some of the settings you want. You tweak where it appears by moving this, these sliders here and um, you change its size. I've got it as big as it'll do it. I've also said, I've said to hide leading zeros. If you don't do that you get leading zeros. Uh, you can turn on extra little um, things in the timer. Um, I tend not to. I just like this simple setup. Now, since the demonology video I've put on YouTube, I've changed how I've d I personally display molten core. Now, um, all credit for this goes to Matt Rogue Smith on YouTube because I, to find out how to do this, I literally just Googled Power Aura tutorial and got his video. Um, what this does is it gives a much better visual indication of your stacks of molten core. This is the buff the aura, you can set up this however you want. Um, and up here, at the top here, this is not the number of stacks, this number is the time remaining on the Molten Core buff. Um, to display stacks, I've done them as separate auras which are activated uh, using things I'll show you now. So the what this means is as you use up stacks of uh, Molten Core, these will disappear in the way I've shown. Um, what I was finding is if I was raiding and I got Molten Core, if I got a proc of Molten Core during Molten Core, the timer would refresh and so would the stacks, and that wasn't always obvious. So with this one you're going to need to set up four separate auras. The first one's fairly simple to set up. All you'll need is whatever aura you want up here. Down in this window fill in Molten Core and set the number of stacks it to be activated by by greater than or equal to zero. Then create another mo another buff. It's activated by the same spell, Molten Core. This time it's greater than one stack. Do the same for the rest. Number two, greater than two stacks. And number three, equal to three stacks. For the first buff up here, you'll see I've added the timer. You could do this again, like just as with the life tap buff. Um, in addition to that, I've added some animation to these. Um, you could do this to your own taste. You have uh, various animations for when the buff appears. In this case, I've got no anima animation. This will just appear. Um, the end animation is shrink, which just means that when you uh, dispel it, it just it shrinks away. I just quite like that one. Um, 
its main animation when it's up it, I've set is a pulse. This just means that it, it uses a bit of movement. Your eyes tend to pick up on it a bit easier if you see something like this. And that in general is how you use Power Roars. It's a very powerful mod. Uh, you can do an awful lot with it. I suggest you experiment. Uh, most people tend to get a bit overwhelmed when they see the number of options available, but you really can do an awful lot with it. Um, a couple of other things I like to do is I like to remind myself if I need to buff. So you'll see if I, I don't have uh, fell armor on at the moment. So up here, no fell armor, which means if I get rid of power auras, I get a big green buff. So if I buff, that goes away. I'll show you how to do that. Just before, slash power auras. Then go to your fell armor buff. All I've done here is I've set up as before, activated by buff. The buff's name is Fell Armor. Um, except I've clicked the little thing down here which says invert the logic. So this will be activated when a Fell Armor is not available. Um, I've also done a similar one for um, the stones. Now this is a, a little bit of extra thing you can put here. Imagine this would work for rogues as well with specific poisons. Um, so you type slash main for main hand, sorry, main slash for main hand, followed by grand. Uh, the reason I haven't put grand fire or grand spellstone is simply because it doesn't matter what spec you're in, it will tell you when you don't have a weapon enchant. Again, you're going to need to invert the logic on this one, so this is activated by you not having a buff. So you see, you see, now if I buff fell armor, that goes on. And if I buff a firestone, that goes away. Awesome. And that's how I use power auras. There's many other uses for it, and I'm sure you'll all find them, but this is just how I use it on my character. Okay, I'm just going to show you what this looks like on the dummies. You can see this cast bar add-on here is called Quartz. I mentioned it in a previous video, but it is really is a very useful add-on. You can see the blip going along the bottom is my global cooldown. It's quite useful to just be able to visually see that. I've set mine up just above my pet bar. And you can see the uh, remaining time on my dots here. Now the power aura you can see up here, I've got one just to show me when I've got the pyroclasm buff. This is mainly for my own interest if I was putting on Curse of Doom. I'd just like to know that I had pyroclasm up. Again, I mean, you could you could do things like putting an aura if you don't have emulate on the target, for example, and destruction. Thank you all for watching. I hope this has answered some of your questions about the UI that I use, uh, the add-ons I use, and how I've got them set up. Um, if you're interested, I've uploaded all of my add-ons in its current configuration to Curse.com. So if you go onto Curse and you look up Optex PVE Warlock Pack you should be able to download my set of add-ons. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Optic of Trollbane Europe. Cheers.